Western New York's health care crisis is getting more urgent with each passing day. Staffing shortages in area hospitals are causing major challenges in emergency rooms and maternity wards. At some local hospitals, the problems are now trickling down to the patients in a big way. It's day 20 of the CWA strike that is partly to blame, but as Channel 2's Jeff Preval explains, that's not the only factor at play. In a message to staff last week, Kalina's CEO says right now it is a daily battle inside hospitals. Everyone is stretched to the max, but delivering for patients. Kalina says Buffalo General is seeing record high volumes in the emergency department and hospital admissions. Millard Fillmore seeing a rise in hospital admissions as well. And Oshai Children's Hospital is seeing more people in their emergency department and an additional four to six deliveries in their maternity ward every day. This is in part because of labor and delivery services being suspended at Mercy Hospital, where CWA union workers have been on strike for nearly three weeks. We just need a contract. We need a fair contract and we need to get back to work. We want to go back to work. CWA workers say what's good for them is good for other health care workers. The vast majority of them are standing right beside us. They've been here walking the lines with us. They've been in support of us. What happens here is only going to benefit them down the line as well. Today, there is no update on contract negotiations. Over at ECMC, hospital officials say emergency department volumes remain high and that four nurses from New York Presbyterian in New York City are here to help out in ECMC's emergency department department and critical care units. Hospitals are not only continuing to deal with impacts from the pandemic, but also reductions in staff in some cases due to the state's COVID vaccine mandate. Now on the COVID front in terms of hospitalizations, according to state data, there are more than 200 people diagnosed with COVID-19 in Western New York hospitals. And that is twice as high as that number was at this time a year ago. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.